Hi guys, welcome back to a random lifestyle vlog and welcome to probably the last advent beauty advent calendar of the season. We have a couple more advent calendars coming, but they're not going to be beauty related. So this is the cohorted uh, 12 days advent calendar. It looks quite impressive. I'm a little bit stressed because, uh, uh, do you know, I remember the last year's advent calendar was quite controversial. I actually really liked it because the um, full size products that were in there were very much up my alley so I was quite happy with them but there were many people complaining uh, that this advent calendar had like so many repeats so that if you're a subscriber you probably have most of these products uh, a lot of controversy around the last year's one uh, but I still decided to buy it I mean there was no like a proper reveal of the contents there was only like half of the content revealed and uh, from that half of the content that was actually revealed I really liked half of the items so like three items out of the six i really like so i'm a little bit stressed because i'm not really sure how the other half is going to look but okay i also got a discount on it i think it was 25 percent so i paid like 75 pounds for it so hopefully it's going to be worth it uh, so this is how it looks it's actually really pretty and elegant and let's open it so it opens like that and here's the full presentation it's actually really pretty i really like this kind of vibe uh so let's start so anyway we have a lot of like shredded paper in it and our first product is by irene forte and this is forte regenerate hibiscus night cream uh see it's dangerous uh, it contains hibiscus seed peptides, hyaluronic acid, green pea polypeptides, ceramide complex, uh, and uh, it has allergy screened fragrance. So that sounds amazing. I'm pretty sure I had one of these in one of the other calendars before, but I actually gifted uh, this one to my mom. So I'm going to, to keep this one for myself. Uh, it says here, apply to the face, neck, and decolle, uh, smoothing with um, circular upward motions. Use evening. The formulation shaped by uh, 35 years of research and development proven to help fight free radicals in laboratory testing. Sounds good. Uh, this is a very uh, good brand, very pricey too. So I'm not really complaining. I really like the draw number one. Okay, moving on. Uh, number two, I'm just going to use my left hand to... I thought it was empty, but no, there is a tiny product which I don't really want to believe that this is everything in this no this is actually everything okay so okay i'm not super happy with it uh you don't know what it is yet but i'm going to show you in a minute so this is the product number two that big drawer contained only this tiny lipstick which is laura mercier and it's yes obviously this is rouge ultime which i'm not going to open it this is the uh, pretty pretty red mini lipstick i have like five of these already probably because they appear like everywhere no i think with the, the advent calendar like that uh they should have given us like a full size it doesn't have to be laura mercier but i would expect a full size lipstick this tiny lipstick in this massive drawer it looks just ridiculous so so far it's like 50 50 i really like the draw number uh one but number two was a bit of a disappointment let's move on number three is over here but here we have something a bit better so this is pestle and mortar uh, recover multitasking eye cream blended with squalane and peptides with which targets fine lines puffiness and dark circles okay so that sounds cool we have 15 mils so stay so it has to be a full size. I do a lot of peptides in my skincare routine. Uh, I've never actually tried this uh, product before. So that's a good one. I'm happy with uh, the draw number three. Number four up here. Okay, so here we have Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Magically transforms texture, amazing humidity proving powers proofing powers not proving so this is uh, that product i don't know if you can see because it's actually very reflective kind of packaging but uh yeah i mean this has appeared so many times in cohorted that if you're a subscriber you probably have a big stash of these products it is a very good product nevertheless i mean this is one of those uh, color wow products i actually really like uh, you just uh, spray it on your damp hair and then you have to blow dry it uh, i mean you need some heat to activate uh, this product but it actually uh, locks the moisture in your hair so i'm really like it uh, so if this calendar has to contain anything from color wow i'm actually glad 
it contains this particular product although as i said this is not something like very new in cohorted world uh, yeah i think we actually had that in a november uh, cohorted box i'm not 100 percent sure but i think we did okay uh, number five uh, over here so let me just quickly clarify i'm not really too disappointed with the content so far the only thing i didn't like was the lipstick i think it should have been bigger uh but other than that i think it is all right okay uh, nothing really super impressive so far but not bad either okay I like the brand. I don't know what that is, but I really like the brand because we have some elements here. Oh my god, this is this is dangerous. <laughs> okay, so this is a good one. This is Pro Collagen Rose Hydro Mist Super Hydrating Serum and Mist uh, for dehydrated dull skin. It contains Padina Pavonica, English Rose, and Microalgae. It hydrates, soothes, and rejuvenates, and we have 50 mils. I love it. Okay, so this is very exciting. Probably the most exciting product so far. Just trying to make it... No. Oh, God. This is really creepy <laughs> when it's collapsing. But yeah, I'm super excited to have something from Elemis. I'm super excited it's not one of those, like, staples. This is something new for me. And this is how it looks. It does look stunning. I love Elemis. I pretty much love anything uh, by this brand uh, and I can't really wait to try it. So yeah, super exciting. This one was really good, good size too. So yeah, I think they redeemed themselves for the door number uh, two with a tiny, with a tiny lipstick. Number six over here and more lipsticks and more tiny lipsticks, but at least here we have two of them. Uh, so these are Elamasca lipsticks uh, in shade, well, obviously Bang. Uh, that's one of those shades, like this is so as popular as the Laura Mercier red lipstick. Uh, uh, so yeah. And then we have um, Antimatter lipstick in shade Cosmic, and that one is new for me. So let me just swatch it for you. So just so you see, this is the shade bank, which I'm not going to swatch because I have it already, like three of them. Uh, probably this is a nude brownie kind of shade. Uh, it's all right. And then we have, uh, what was that? Cosmic. So this one is new for me. And I don't know why, but I kind of expected something red. But this is another, like a different uh, shade of nude. This one has like more like pinkish undertones. So here's the swatch. I don't know if you can see, maybe I'll just swatch a little bit more. Well, these sleepies are tiny. Yeah, so this is how it looks. Uh, at least it's something new. At least it's something I don't uh, have in my collection. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, two tiny lipsticks is better than one tiny lipstick, but I think I still prefer to have like one full-size lipstick uh, instead of two of them here. Like, I think it would just look nicer. Uh, yeah, those lipsticks are a little bit like underwhelming. Uh, other than that, I quite like what's in here so far. Okay, number seven over here. Okay, so here we have the product that has been doing rounds in advent calendar this year. This is This Works Deep Sleep Body Cocoon, a multitasking beauty sleep saver for better nights and brighter mornings. So this is it. Uh, I... Uh, do you know, I know this is this was going to be here. I think it was one of the spoilers, so I'm not really too disappointed, um, you know. Uh, but this is the type of product that, I mean, I kind of like, but at the same time, how many of those you can have in your life? Uh, this is something I use because you can use it all over your body or just on your hands when you go to sleep uh, as a hand cream, and I use it as my hand cream. So uh, the 100 mils product lasts me for, I mean, I've been using this, the one that I'm, I'm using at the moment, I've been using it for, I don't know, a couple of months now, and it doesn't want to end. Uh, so I honestly don't think I need that many of those, but um, yeah, I mean, if you don't really have a massive collection of those products, uh, I think you might even enjoy it. Anyway, number eight, uh, number eight up here. And, okay, here we have something bigger too. And something pink. So this is Alia Skin Pomegranate Exfoliating Facial Scrub uh, with pomegranate seed powder to deeply exfoliate your skin. Suitable for all skin types. Made with love in Australia. 
so you apply it, you just uh, dump your skin, apply product uh, to your forehead, cheeks, nose and chin, scrub gently in circular motions, wash product away with warm water. Uh, okay, uh, so we have a facial scrub. Uh, I rarely use like mechanical scrubs, I usually go for like chemical peels, uh, but every now and again I like using something like that on my face. So yeah, that's a good one. I don't think I have it in my collection, so oh, why not? I'm going to try and see if I like it or not. Okay, number nine over there. It's empty. No, it's not. <laughs> it contains some Avant. So this is Pink Orchid Hyaluronic uh, Glycerin White Peony Age Protect and UV Pink Orchid Subtle Restoring Overnight Serum. And we have 30 ml here. So this is a new one for me. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think I might have found it in one of the other calendars before, but I've never actually tried it. I haven't tried it yet. I don't really mind the fact that these products are used to increase the value of the boxes. So I'm actually quite happy that this particular product is here, not something I've already tried and tested. Okay, moving on to number eight, which is up here. Okay, we've already done that. So moving on to draw number 10 over here. And here we have another of the sneak peeks. Uh, this is Laura Geller Spackle Mist. Prime Set Refresh. To use, hold bottle 8 to 10 inches away from face and mist lightly. Apply before makeup to prime skin after after makeup to set your look or any time throughout the day for an instant refresh. So we have this uh, sparkle mist here. I think we've had it a couple of times in a cohort already. Uh, so not like extremely exciting for me. Uh, but at the same time, again, this was one of the sneak peeks. So I kind of knew it would be here and I still decided to buy it. That's why I'm not going to complain because, you know, it, it was not a surprise for me. Okay, number 11. So uh, last but one over there. Okay, so here we have a good one. So this is Floral Street. A Lang Lang Espresso, one of my favorite Floral Street fragrances. It looks like that. Uh, this is a quite a generous size, this is 10 mils. Uh, I've uh, had a couple of those fragrances in 10 mil size and they actually last me for quite a while. I really like the scent. It's so beautiful. It's quite like, I would say, unisex. It's a very kind of dark scent, very sexy. Uh, I really like it. So I'm really, really happy to find it here. And I think, I mean, I'm pre pretty sure this was one of the sneak peeks. So this was one of the products I actually really liked from the start. Okay, so that leads us to the last drawer, which is drawer number 12. I know what's going to be here. I know, and I'm super excited. It's actually quite hefty too. So let's just see if the size is correct. So here we have Good Jeans Glycolic Acid Treatment by Sunday Riley. Sunday Riley is one of my favorite skincare brands. I mean, so is Elemis. So I'm super happy to have like two full-size items from my two favorite brands here. And uh, yes, this is a proper full size, isn't it? So we have good jeans, full size, 30 mils. Very exciting. I really love this product. This is something I had to actually get used to. I mean, my skin had to get used to it. This is glycolic acid treatment. So I actually started with lactic acid. And then when my skin actually got used to lactic acid, I switched to glycolic acid and it works perfectly for me now. So I'm super happy to have it here. A very exciting day number 12 for me and this is uh, the cohorted advent calendar 2021 fully unboxed what do you guys think okay so i gathered up all the products here so that i can actually have a proper look and decide uh, what i actually think about it and you know what for 75 pounds i paid for it i think it's a good one um mainly because i really like uh, the most expensive product in uh, this box so again i think this might be a very similar situation to last year's i really like the sunday riley good jeans uh, so i'm super happy to have it here and then we have some elemis product uh, something new for me this is a, a pro collagen rose hydro mist so I'm super excited with that one. We have some Irene Forte, the cream that I haven't tried before. We have some Avant, another, uh, I, I wouldn't say my fa one of my favorite brands, but another brand I actually like, and I haven't tried this product too. So these are super exciting. Uh, then we have the Lang Lang Espresso, something that I actually really wanted to have uh, because I really like this scent. So these products, very exciting. Uh, then we have two products, oh no, maybe like three products that I'm happy with, although they were not like super exciting. And this is the Pestle and Mortar, uh, the Peptide Eye Cream. 
that looks quite cool. Uh, we have the face scrub and uh, a little bottle, 50 ml of uh, Color Wow Dream Coat, which is actually a product I use and like. Uh, so these products I'm super happy with. And then we have some products that I, I just don't know. There's, I mean, I have too many of uh, those uh, already. Uh, not about products, but you know, too many. Uh, those tiny lipsticks, a little bit underwhelming. I, I have to be honest with you. It's just not really what I would, uh, what I really wanted to see here. And then the Spackle Mist, uh, I think it appeared a little bit too often in Cohorted. Uh, so I don't really get excited with it. Anyway, I think this is a good advent calendar for me. I'm quite happy to have it. I think if you like um, similar brands as I do, you should be happy with it too. Uh, although I would really love to know your thoughts. What do you think about it? Do you think it's a good one? Do you think it's meh? Or do you think it's like a complete waste of money? Please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know your thoughts on this. Thank you very much for watching. For more um, beauty related content, check those videos here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.